fascinating things that we've all observed in nature at some time in our life is when the sun is setting and you get this beautiful backlit light peeping through the trees, you've also got the added excitement of the reflections. The reflections, usually they're mirror image. Like if you've got boats in the water, what you see is a reflection. It's exactly the same thing, just upside down. But cast shadows are totally different. And in this case, the cast shadows are all originating from one area. So they're like the spokes of a wheel. And frequently you'll see what we call the finger of God going through the trees. And then we'll see the cast shadows on the ground. So they're very, very exciting. And I want them to be a lovely brown. So I probably will just go with the simple mixture of quinacridone burnt orange and cobalt blue. And in this mixture, if you put more orange, you end up with a very warm brown. And if you put more blue, you end up with a very cool brown. So I kind of go between these two colors. What I'm going to do is the ones that are closer to the sunlight, I'm going to paint them with a little bit warmer color because they're receiving more of the sun. And I'm just working with a number eight brush and I'm picking up the spaces in between. Now this is a new concept for some people where you actually just paint in between the foliage. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and paint to the edge of our shadow. Now it's important when you get to the edge of the shadow that you just wet your brush and kind of get a blend going here. Soften that shadow a little bit. And see, I even like to pull a little bit of this color, not much, just a little bit, out into our shadow area. Oh, this is fun. This is actually one of my favorite parts about painting Deep Woods pictures, and that is to paint the trees after. And you have to wait until everything's dry. So this has been drying overnight. I'm going to do a mixture of cobalt blue, quinacridone burnt orange, and this is going to give me a really nice warm, I just put in a little quin orange, a little bit more cobalt. But I'm going to keep this one on the warm side. And believe it or not, this is what you do. You just come in here and you paint this interesting little shape and you go around everything. So you paint it. As you come to any of these leaves, you paint around them. I just love this. And it really works. It's fantastic. So this way you actually can show how the leaves are going in front of the tree, which they would do naturally.